I ended up finishing uh, sixth last year and made it through the second round of the semi, so I was pretty happy with that. And uh, ho hopefully the boys um, get a bit of energy out of that and a bit of confidence. And uh, with Terry Campisi coming back from injury, it's going to be a good year, I think. We've been training hard and uh, we're in good shape to, to have a good start to the season. Coming after it is Ferguson, yeah! Ferguson, yes! Campo's looking really good. He's been slotted in the training a couple of times here and there, and uh, we're all pretty excited to have him back. And you forget how much of a good playmaker he is until he comes back into the side and just gets uh, everyone directed around the park so well. So I'm looking forward to him coming back. We were lucky last year when Campo was injured. Uh, the young halves stood up and uh, they really progressed well and uh, developed well as players. So, uh, you know, we're well equipped, but we can't wait to have him back. He's a, he's a great player. Uh, it's really important for, uh, for us at the Raiders to have a good home crowd. I always think the Canberra fans are the toughest fans, braving the cold through the winter. So. Um, you know, we love having them as members and, and turning up every week to support us and really put some wind in our sails when it's tough games. Ferguson into a hole. Moga chases. Ferguson gets away. And Blake Ferguson with a big blow for Canberra. Yeah, I know when the games are pretty tough, we've got the, the Raiders Army there and, uh, and, and all the fans. It's good to see, see a green there supporting us and cheering us on. So, uh, yeah, it definitely helps in the back end of games and, and those tough ones. You know, games like uh, the, the Dragons and the Eels, when they come down to play us, if we've got a big green fan base there, it really helps us.